So here we've got our support survey. We've got a little bit of personalization on there. We're pulling in the first name, the case owner, case number, that sort of thing. Now let's look at doing some simple branching. So branching is basically the ability to set um, a field to either hide or display or push through to other areas of a survey or a different survey altogether based on how a specific question is responded to. So what I want to do with this survey is if somebody gives a six or below on our net promoter score right here, I want to have a text box display to ask them for more details. Why did they give that level of recommendation? So for the net promoter score, six or below is a detractor. So that's a good opportunity to ask them for more information. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new question of a text type. We're going to make it a long answer and we're going to say, please provide more information on the recommendation uh, rating you gave above or whatever it is that you want to say. So we've got it as the long answer. We're also going to um, have this re as required because if somebody actually uh, picks six or below, we want to force them to fill something out. Um, or you can have it un uh, not required if you wish. But the thing that I do need to do is I need to make this not visible. So by default on that survey or on that form, it's not going to show this question. All right, so if we now go ahead and preview, we're just checking and we can see, right, we're only seeing those first four questions. That's great. So if I go back and from the top here on the ellipsis, the three dots, I'm going to select branching rules. All right, so we're going to create a rule so that we can customize how this survey flows. So create rule, we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to say additional details, net promoter score rating. Okay, so then we're going to define the condition. So our condition is that the question of how likely are you to recommend us to a friend or colleague is less than seven. So anything below a seven, this is the condition that we're basically saying, then go ahead and run this specific rule. If that's true, so if the um, the net promoter score is basically less than a seven, so a six through a zero, I'm going to say, uh, show the question of please provide more information on the recommendation rating you gave so that that hidden question that we've just created so if, if this is true if it is less than a seven go ahead and show that question if false so if it's a seven eight nine or ten go ahead and we'll just leave that as being hidden for that specific question Okay, so pretty straightforward. Like I said, this is a fairly simple branching rule that we're creating. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So we've got a question now. A um, good idea to give it a, a name, a rule name that makes sense rather than just rule one, rule two, and so on. So we've got a, a rule name that makes sense. So we can go ahead and see that. If I go ahead and preview again, we can still see that there's only four questions. If I give it a seven, that's great. If I give it a four, basically anything below the seven, there we have that hidden field being displayed and it's been made required. So this is a great way to be able to um, add more personalization to that form. If somebody answers yes to a question, then display another question. If someone says no, display a different type of question, that kind of thing. So hopefully that just gives you an idea of how to create some kind of simple branching rule that you can add to your survey. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.